right guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, it's a midweek, all right, I've got a, got a bit of holiday uh, from my, my normal work and I'm taking a trip across to Breen. Um, for those that don't know, Breen is on the, uh, just on the edge of the Bristol Channel there. Um, it's still pretty windy down here, so basically, I'll orientate you uh, down there, that's the Bristol Channel. Uh, down to my right, we've got Bridgewater. Things that we're going to try, I guess, to the last one today, or I'll just travel around a wee bit. Alright, that's Bridgewater up there. Obviously we've got the ocean out there with some, some, uh, some rocks and what have you, which, you know, maybe maybe something there. Um, what we have got is this, this row, row of posts that go all the way out into the ocean. Um, I've seen a uh, photograph before that it would absolutely be perfect. And then way down the coast, about um, three and a half miles down the coastline, all right, but it's walking distance, we've got the wreck of, of, a, of a boat. Um, it literally is just the bones of it now. Um, hopefully we're going to get a sunset. The sunset literally sets literally right behind it. So the plan is to be down there for around uh, four o'clock, so I get set up, um, which is low tide also, um, and then hang around for a couple of hours. Maybe have a cup of coffee down there, and um, yeah, that's the plan. Get a shot of that with a, with a nice sunset behind it. Maybe if the if the, if the wind is eased, maybe be able to get a, a long exposure shot of it as well. And we're getting surrounded by little dogs here. So yep. All right. So let's go. Um, let's head off down here and um, and see what we can get. We're gonna, like I say, we're going to head over there to the rocks first and see if we can get something over there. Okay, let's go. Right, guys. Um, okay, so just trying to take a couple of shots um, down the end of this. Um, let's just turn the camera around a wee bit. Just down the end of uh, these these posts. Um, had the one of the ND filters on. Uh, and he's eight, I think I had on it, but it's just so windy down there that um, you can't. There's no focus on the on the post, which is obviously the the main point of it. So hopefully the wind will drop at some point. I'll come back and have another go at it uh, later. Um, what I did get is a, a couple of nice shots uh, way out in the distance. Eh? You probably can't see it, but way out in the distance, a couple of people walking along. Um, Got a nice bit of light out there, so yeah. I had the um, I just whacked the three stop grad on, um, and we'll see how they come out. Um, you may see them, you may not, <laughs> depending on how they came out. Uh, what we're going to do now, though, basically, um, we'll come back up the way along here and then way, way up the, up the hill there and over the top. And this is pre and four, so we're going to go there. That's going to be the objective, so to speak. It's now, um, what time is it? It's now one o'clock. All right, so low tide is at, um, is at four, just after four. Um, and I need to be three and a half miles that way uh, by four. So it's a bit of a tab. I'm gonna have to move me backside a little bit. Um, hopefully we'll get up there in time enough for, for something to eat, a uh, quick bite to eat, and then three and a half miles that way to get the shot um, of this of this boat. Hopefully that will work. The sun's come out, the clouds cleared, the wind has dropped a little bit, but we need it to be down even more, ideally. But uh, yep. Okay, so let's get this bag on. And let's go.
Right then guys, here we are, right on the end of that pier, that peninsula. Breen Fort is literally 100 meters behind us. This is the very end of the peninsula, as I say. It's about two and a half, mm, two k's or something, sort of like that from, from, the, um, from the mainland, or from actually from, from Breen, or Breen Beach, I should say. Um, got some kind of old um, World War II lookout post uh, watch across the channel uh, so composition is something like this we're gonna have that little building just on the on the left uh, we've got all these rocks down here uh, I don't really see them but we've got all these rocks down here on the right um, adding a little bit of balance in the far distance we've got the um, that island not sure what it which island it is I'll have a I'll have a look later and put a something off to the corner maybe as to what island it is if anybody knows and I haven't put it up there feel free to comment and then way out in the far distance we've got the other side of the estuary or the channel all right with whales over there again I'm not sure what the um, right in the far distance out there on the on the uh, other side with whales is a, a, a large um, white tower don't know what that one is again I'll see if I can find out what it is I'll, I'll stick a link up here or not a link but a, a name if anybody knows in the, in the meantime let me know or it'd be interested a uh, couple of compositions as I say there's this one here there's one over to our right um, my right that looks down through a, a large gully I'm not sure if I can get around there all right it's 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 steep it's rocky it's dangerous and I don't want to be stepping too close if I can get around there without being silly about it obviously all well and good and then on my left here we've got this deep channel uh, which is quite interesting um, again I'm just going to move around in a minute once we've got this shot in the back we're going to move around and just stand at the end of that you can't see it in a minute but you will be able to when I set the camera around there and it looks down through a, a long channel deep ravine so I say deep deep enough to kill yourself if you fell in it um, which the water has washed away over the years obviously so we'll get this one in the bag um, I'll give you the settings uh, in a minute and um, we'll, we'll see how it goes okay guys so take a look at this all right this is what I've just walked three and a half miles for apologize for the darkness all right the sun is right in the, in the face of the camera right now uh, the, the, the boat out here is, I think it's called the SS Nornan sank hundreds of years ago or a long time ago anyway about hundreds of years ago all right and that's what we're out here to photograph the sun's going to drop straight over the top of that all right and that's what we're trying to get some shooting straight into the sun uh we're at f13 iso is what's the iso at the minute it's 400 um, one four hundredth of a second all right it's going to change um need to be aware we're on a really flat beach and the tide is just about turned it's coming in um, sundown as I understand it's about 541 so we've got to keep a close eye on that um, on that tide coming in because it's going to come in quite quick so we might have to get out quite quickly it's only a couple of hundred meters back to the beach all right but we just need to be aware of that okay let's get a couple of more shots in the bag as it is and we're just clicking away um, as um, as the sun goes down Day there as I said it's starting to get proper cold out here tide I think is on the turn and I'm not so daft as to want to be out here all on my own so I'm gonna head on back to the car three and a half miles back that way. Um, thank you for watching the video hopefully you've enjoyed it um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel it's totally free as I said in the past and um, and share it. I mean, the more people who share it, the better for, for me. Like I said, I don't get paid for this. It's just, just me enjoying uh, being out uh, on the coast or in the hills, whatever it might be. Uh, apologies for the darkness of the video. <laughs> I say it's directly into the sun. Okay, take care. See you again soon.